What's up, YouTube? This is my, uh, uh, fuck, dote deck for, uh, post set 15. Me and my friends have, uh, started playing some Japanese meta because we're, well, a little bit fed up with, uh, English meta currently. And we really like testing, uh, new decks. And I know there's card fight area and we've used the crap out of that. But there's just something about having the legit card in your hand. Yes, I know this deck is coming, this set is coming out in September, but I really don't care. So, um, starting with the deck list, first off, thank you for my friend Thomas for hooking me up with uh, the sleeves. Um, badass. Also got the deck box. Um, hope you got your sing savers in the mail so we can test this uh, this weekend. Um, big shout out to my friend Cody, uh, he's the man, bro. Um, if he ever ends up opening up his own shop, y'all definitely need to check it out. He hooked me up with 95.9% .9 of this deck, um, couldn't have done it without him. Take good care of my, uh, my silver thorns, baby. Alright, so, on the deck list, um, sorry for the twitching, my Tourette's have been kind of bad lately. Other than that, I just got back on land from offshore, so hopefully I'll be posting some more videos. First up, for your starter, you have Lizard Soldier Conroe. Yes, I know it is banned in Japan. Fuck it, I don't care. Um, yes, you blah blah blah, you said you're playing Japanese meta. My friends don't mind. And so, if they do, I'll just switch it to the Grade 3 Searcher. I have one set aside. Uh, he's amazing. That's all there really is to that. Um, for your grade 3 lineup, for Dote, Dragonic Overlord Z Endo. I don't like, um, Dragonic Overlord Z Endo, uh, Rebirth, for the sole fact that, um, if you're playing against Omega Glendios, you auto lose, you pretty much kill yourself. Second off, I really don't like dropping 5 rear guards just to lock it to get an extra plus 10k. Uh, plus one crit, it's it's great and all, but just it hurts you too bad in the long run. But, so, I think Dope applies a lot more pressure. Yeah, late game he's dead because your opponent's not gonna, um, not gonna let it through because they're gonna be at like four or five damage and they don't want to let it hit because if they do, it's just gonna stand. But here's the thing, guys. don't You don't have to swing at their vanguard, just start poking at their rear guards. Oh, uh, I am horse, so... I'm a little bit sick, so yeah. Four, Dragonic Overlord. Eroded, new art, everything. Well, it's a break ride. Sadly, it's not a different spelling or a different name of Dragonic Overlord. It's the exact same name as the old Dragonic Overlord, so you just can't play a Dragonic Overlord debt, which I really wanted to do, but oh well. This is a hell of a lot better anyways. Let's see if it'll focus real quick. Ah, you get the point. It's really sexy. Grade 3, break right 11k. If you have more rear guards than your opponent, when this unit attacks, it gets plus 2. When you're at limit break, 4 or more, you're, you can counter blast 1. Why well, won't it focus, though? Let's see. Oh, well. So, if you're at limit break, 4 or more. You can, uh, break, when you break ride uh, on the top of this card, you get plus 10k and you get the ability counter blast 1 when this unit swings at a rear guard, stand this, counter blast 1, discard 1, and stand this unit. If your opponent does not have a rear guard, you are fucked. Um, so make sure you don't use this unless your opponent has a rear guard, so. 3, I mean, sorry, 4 Burnout Dragon, probably the second best card in the deck next to Draconic Overlord. Um, when I was playing him first, when he first came out, I was playing him wrong. I was playing him as a counter blast. He is actually a soul blast one, 9k grade two. Um, Draconic Burnout, such a good card. Soul blast one, um, choose one card with Overlord in its name, put it at the bottom of your deck and choose one of your opponent's cards and retire it. Here, the really cool thing is, you really don't even have to have a target in your grave. You can just go so pay the cost. That being said, you can discard one of your dead break rides. Because the point of this deck is to go break ride as many times as possible. Then cross break ride with dope. XPR it up. Um, but yeah, so. Uh, 
yeah, this card's nutty as all hell. You can just cycle like crazy in this deck. It's super consistent. Can't wait for this shit to come out in English. Um, Still not knowing if I'm going to make it. For uh, Burning Horn Dragon, you still got to play it. It's your 12k attacker. The deck's super aggro, so you got to play aggressively. Um, In that same aspect, 3 striking. Um, in this particular build, I don't like playing 10Ks for the sole fact is you're 99.9% .9 of the time never going to be grade stuck, and that plus 5, plus 1 crit early game comes in so handy. So, on to grade 1s, obviously, for PGs. Screw Quintet Walls in this deck, it sucks. I don't care what people say. For my grade ones, I actually did not know about this card until recently. Thankfully, I ordered it um, along with my other ones, so they came in at the same time. I was still playing the AK instead of this. I forget his name. It's like Dragonic. I don't remember. It's the 10k attacker for uh, over cards with Overlord in their name. So it's a your Dragonic Overlord 10k attacker, 7k booster. Really good. Uh, that deck really needs that. Needed that. So. That being said, Bushy Road, come on, let's uh, let's hurry up and get a Ver Vermillion Kaiser of the Blood, a 10k attacker. That'd be nice. But three uh, Doombringer Griffin or something Bringer Griffin, I don't know. So it's a grade one 7k. Uh, when this card is called your a rear guard or vanguard, I think it's vanguard or rear guard skill, right? Um, nope, only rear guard. When this card is called the rear guard, you can drop one grade three. And add a Dragonic Overlord from your deck to your hand. This can use to help cycle through your deck and fill your grave up for a Burnout Dragon, which comes in really handy. So you can drop a Dragonic Overlord Break Ride and search for another one just to deck thin. So, and then you can abuse him early game. So this essentially searches for your Break Ride. That's really all that is. And that's really all it needs to be too, so that's nice. Uh, for the last bit of grade ones, the sackiest card this deck should never have gotten, which makes this deck busted as all hell if it wasn't already. Lizard Soldier Crom, grade one, 5k. Hmm, let's see, guys. Ring a bell? No, it's not a Soul Blast, a two draw one. It is a Battle Sister Lemonade clone, Soul Blast 2. As long as you're, when this card is called a rear guard, soul blast two and unflip up to two damage. Really, guys, you're gonna just really okay. I'll I'll, I'll take it and run with, it, I guess. So for trigger lineup, I am playing my standard six six. Uh, I like. So that being said, six crit six draw. Uh, the draws really do come in handy. I do not like playing the crit that uh. When something's retired, you get plus whatever. I just. I don't like having to call it. There's better things I can call. This trigger comes in so good early game. If they crit you early game, you can go um, Lizard, Soldier, Conroe into him and then retire their starter. A lot of decks rely way too heavily on their starter, so hurting, getting rid of that early game really shuts them down. Uh, the plus three just adds that magic number to some of your rear guards and sometimes your vanguard if you're not at cross ride. Obviously, four heal for the last bit of the cards. Sorry, this is kind of a messy deck video. But I'm really tired and ready to go to sleep. So, that's the deck, guys. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up this video. If you want to see some duels, I'll probably be posting some of them up. Um, this deck's a lot of fun. Very competitive. Um, if you want to play Rebirth, be my guest. Excuse me. I'm just going to stick with Dope. Because Dote's just way too good. Um, Conroe got banned for a reason. And Kagero has been the best deck, if not one of the best decks for a reason, for the longest time in the history of Bushy Road. So, hope you liked it. Peace.